Mariba Shire Council has announced a response package following Council meeting this week to address the economic impact of coronavirus throughout our Shire. Council has adopted a range of initiatives and this is to help reboot the local economy. Council has responded to the pandemic with an assistance package of up to $1.1 million. And this is an outstanding um, recognition of our Shire in terms of supporting them. This is, after all, a small Shire. Our ratepayers uh, amount to about 10,000. So this relief package is absolutely outstanding. The package includes uh, rate remission for council approved not-for-profit organisations, communities, clubs, sporting organisations that support our community at all times. And we fully realise that if we don't provide some sort of support that these organisations will close and, and thereby this will impact on our uh, community and the support that the community gets from these organisations. We've extended uh, payment arrangements for our ratepayers, we've reduced interest rates for overdue rates and for those suffering financial hardship. No legal action will be taken for overdue rates, this is suspended for the moment. We've deferred payments of existing community loans and our food licences have been extended at no charge until the 30th of September, as well as goods on food, food path permits extended as well. Of course, a very, a very early in the piece, our Council agreed and uh, endorsed the freezing of wage increases, both for councillors and staff. So this, this is um, the major part of our package. Many people in the community are doing it tough and we're not out of the woods yet and council is limited to the level of financial assistance it can provide. However, we are making allowances wherever possible to ease the financial burden on our ratepayers. We do not fully know the full impact of COVID on our community. We will regularly review our um, response. We are fully aware that the, uh, the state and federal governments have provided relief packages to our business sector and we are extremely grateful for that because that will enable support for uh, rebooting our economy. I thank you for all the cooperation that you have given to both state and federal governments in terms of uh, uh, restrictions throughout the COVID period. And as I've stated many times, we're not out of the woods yet. Um, certainly there's been some uh, easing of restrictions and, and I do believe that our Premier fully supports that we continue to do this gradually and uh, with sound judgment behind it. So please stay safe. Please still observe the social distancing rules and the hygiene rules. Thank you.